What are mold and mildew? You probably only know the mold, but keep in mind that not everything that grows in things is mold. There are mildews. They are both fungi that grow in warm, moist surroundings, making them easy to mix up. However, there are significant differences between the two that must be recognized before preventing or curing. So please sit back and watch as we share 5 things to know about mold and mildew in today's topic. Be sure to watch this video up to the end and afterward leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of the upcoming new videos. Now let's all learn what mold and mildew are. What are mold and mildew? Mold is a common workplace hygiene problem that is surrounded by plenty of misconceptions. It may be found both indoors and outdoors and it may thrive in harsh conditions and it's a fungus that spreads its minute spores via the air. They are present in over 100,000 species, many of which are harmless to humans. When mold spores settle on damp material and start to increase, it becomes an issue. However, in optimum conditions, growth may occur in just three days. Mold may grow on wood, carpets, paper, furniture, plants, and insulation, among other organic surfaces with moisture and oxygen. Mold may be discovered in bathrooms, basements, kitchens, and crawl spaces because it thrives in moist areas. It also develops behind roof and window leaks, as well as beneath waterlogged appliances. Mold penetrates the surface and grows into a porous substance, eventually breaking it down and causing permanent harm, whereas mildew develops on top of flat surfaces. Mold can cause mild to serious health problems depending on the species, length of exposure, and whether or not the person has allergies or asthma. If you're having cold or flu-like symptoms and suspect mold is to blame, see your doctor as soon as possible and contact a skilled mold repair professional. So, what is mildew? Mildew is a kind of mold classified as early-stage mold by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. Mildew is a microscopic fungus that spreads throughout the air as tiny spores, just like the other types of mold. Mildew begins to colonize and proliferate when these spores fall into wet or humid settings. Unlike mold, mildew does not penetrate surfaces and grows into the objects it comes into touch with. Though it can still cause cosmetic damage, it grows on flat surfaces instead, such as the grout between your bathroom tiles. While mildew is unappealing and should be removed as soon as possible, it is far easier to discover and and eliminate than mold. Mildew grows on top of the surfaces it develops on. Therefore, all you need is a decent home cleanser and a scrub brush to get rid of it. What are your thoughts about mold and mildew? Share your thoughts in the comment section. So now, you're probably curious about the essential things to know about these two. Continue watching this video to find out more. Let's go! Now, let's get into 5 essential things to know about mold and mildew. 1. The difference between mold and mildew. Mold and mildew share a few aspects in common, like two siblings that share similar features. They may also develop on various surfaces, including food, your shower, and a sheet of paper. There are also two species of fungus that no homeowner wants in his or her home. Remove them as soon as possible to recover your healthy environment. Mold and mildew are both fungi, making it difficult for individuals to distinguish between the two. Mold and mildew, on the other hand, vary significantly in size, color, and texture. Both want damp, warm environments to grow. The appearance of each fungus is one of the essential methods to distinguish between mold and mildew. The smell of mildew is a popular way to recognize it. It smells like the room is moist or, as others have said, like wet socks. They grow on the surface of humid, warm regions and are often white, gray, or yellow. It has a light, powdery texture. For one thing, unlike mold, mildew does not cause long-term harm to the surfaces it grows on, and mold is generally green or black and develops underneath the surface of everything moist. It has a fuzzy or slimy feel. Mildew is essentially mold in its early stages, so there isn't much difference between the two. Both are beneficial to our ecosystem by decomposing organic items such as leaves which enriches the soil. Now let's talk about why mold and mildew grow in your home. Before we get into it, we've made it halfway through this video. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel and press the bell button to be alerted when new content is available. Please give this video a thumbs up to express your appreciation for my efforts. Let's continue. 2. Why mold and mildew grows in your home? According to Phil Reagan, partner of Hutker Architects and Vineyard Haven, we face a ride range of environmental circumstances that can contribute to moisture infiltration in our houses. Low-lying fog can enter via an open window during the warmer seasons and condensation can form on basement foundation walls and heated inside temperatures range substantially from external temperatures. He claims that they can all lead to mold. Mildew and mold have long been a problem in homes and poor construction standards are often to blame. According to Tim Bolin,
Boland, executive director of Poly Hill Arboretum, the overpopulation of mold on the island is also due to our abundant atmospheric moisture. Another issue, he says, is plants that are too close to building foundations. Open doors, windows, vents, and HVAC systems can all allow mold to enter your home. In addition, mold from the air may readily be carried inside of clothing, shoes, luggage, and pets. It can grow almost anywhere that has sufficient humidity or moisture. 3. What are the effects of mold and mildew in your home? Mold and mildew need food to exist, and if you allow it, it will happily destroy your home. The cellulose in the paper backing of drywall, insulation, and wallpaper is a favorite of some molds and mildews. They are both addicted to the glues used to bond carpet to its backing. It will ultimately ruin the walls, wallpaper, and more it assaults if left untreated. They can leave white spiderweb-like growths on your wall and as well as clusters of little black spots. In addition, it gives out a musty odor. While mildew can cause structural damage to a property, most of the harm is not like mold. Mildew, on the other hand, may be exceedingly damaging to plants and food crops in nature. Mold and mildew like to feed on the daily dust and dirt that collects in your home's persistently wet areas. They won't entirely damage your home, but they may indeed make it look, feel, and smell unpleasant. When it develops on damp basements, it may be slippery and deadly. Mold and mildew, to establish themselves, develop and reproduce, need moisture. Therefore, these issues are often associated with long-term dampness or excessive humidity levels. 4. Mold and mildew have effects on your health. Mildew is generally safe, however, it may cause some health problems. Coughing, headaches, and breathing difficulties may occur if mildew spores are inhaled. Mold, on the other hand, is significantly more dangerous. In addition, long-term exposure to them can make your immune system shut down. People are particularly sensitive to tiny reproductive spores. 20 of them would fit across the period at the end of this sentence if they were sitting side by side. It's difficult to remove them because of this. The spores also have an extraordinary hang time, the ability to remain suspended in mid-air for hours at a time. As a result, they're pretty easy to breathe. So when you're a sensitive person, you may feel headaches, runny noses, skin rashes, nausea, sinus difficulties, memory loss, and coughing after even minor contact. 5. How to remove mold and mildew from your home Another distinction between mold and mildew is how tough each fungus is to eradicate. A mildew remover and a decent scrubbing brush are often all that is required to remove mildew. On the other hand, mold is not a problem that most individuals should handle on their own. It's better to leave mold removal to the pros. Long-term wetness or high humidity levels are frequently related to mold problems. To battle mold, you must address moisture concerns. Mold may be found in several areas and you may take steps to prevent it from developing and causing harm. Remove the moldy materials with precaution once the moisture issues have been resolved. Rough handling of damaged objects will not only stir up spores and disseminate them farther around your home but will also release zillions of spores into the air which you'll inhale. Mold spores may be found in approximately 300 million per square foot of moldy drywall. You've just unlocked another Pandora's box by smashing it on the cellar floor. Even dormant spores and dried out materials are unpleasant to breathe and if they come into contact with water again they can reawaken and form new colonies. However, before there are mold prevention techniques to attempt, it's easy to avoid mold without employing someone to do the task. Mold and mildew protection sprays are also available for purchase in stores and online. After knowing the principles of mold versus mildew, Gold Eagle is a terrific supplier of such items, making it simple to avoid fungal development. That's it for today. Do you now understand the difference between mold and mildew? Did this video help you in any way? Are you satisfied with the video? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell button to get updates on new content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!